What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And this is my weekly rambling video, my vlog in which I talk about life and the universe and things around me and things that are particularly interesting to me. I'm filming this pretty late at night, but I got a doctor's appointment here in about eight hours. Um, I should probably be getting some sleep, but I wanted to make a video here to explain why I've not been making as many videos as I would normally make this time of year, why I've not been... Um, doing as many streams as I normally would. Why have not been doing my job very well over the past couple of weeks? Um, and I, I, I think it's probably important that we talk about that. Um, now, one of the biggest reasons is because I wanted to spend as much time with my wife this last week, week and a half as I could, because in here in November, she's going up to Michigan to spend some more time with family. Um, she's got some family members up there in need of some help, and I'm going to stay here to work. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm going to miss my wife tremendously, uh, but it all kind of ties into this phase of the surgery recovery, and I think if you've been following me for a while, you knew that this was going to be part of the recovery process. I was going to step away from this computer when I got the chance, and it's because I've not had the chance for many, many years. I've been stuck in this house. I've been stuck in this dependent role in which I just kind of let other people take care of the world around me, and I focus on the job, and I focus on some video games, and I focus on staying alive. And over the last couple of weeks, we've really changed that pattern up. Uh, we've been going out uh, to different places. You guys know we went to uh, Branson, for example. But we've, we've been going to the movies, and we've been going to shop, and we've been going out for dinner, even though I can't eat a fraction of the food. I have to box 90% of it up. Um, and, I'm, I, you know, again, it's hard to pick and choose what I'm even going to eat at most restaurants. My roommate ends, ends up eating most of it. Uh, but, you know... It's it's nice to actually get out into the world and do stuff. And I talked about that a little bit last time, how the social anxiety has gotten better, the chronic pain has gotten better, but my ability to just do stuff has increased my desire to just give a shit about the world around me. Used to, I would sit in front of the couch or sit in front of the TV several hours a day watching YouTube, sit in front of this computer several more hours a day just working my ass off. Now that I have the option to do other stuff, I want to do that other stuff. I want to do that other stuff. And so every chance I get... Obviously, with my wife, I will. But even while she's going to be out of town, I have plans to go back to Friday Night Magic and, and play some magic among the local gaming store. I started collecting uh, D&D uh, minis here uh, because I plan to run a D&D campaign. My first campaign I've run in a decade or longer. I'm pretty excited about that. Really getting back into my bachelor roots, probably eating a bowl of cereal for every meal. <laughs> well, with that and some rotisserie chicken. Um, I would say McDonald's, but I can't eat that garbage anymore, and I won't. Uh, but I uh, get back to just uh, the bachelor roots for a couple of weeks. And, and, and I, part of you is going to say, Boogie, aren't you afraid of that? You have no idea. You know I have an anxiety disorder. I am terrified. I am terrified. But as you guys know, my wife was out of town for about five days uh, last month. And it was surprisingly not that bad. Um, I found an independence that I'd forgotten. That I really, honestly, I, you, you could say it, it's because I've been codependent on my wife, which is a certain, uh, a certain truth to that. But I've been unable to do stuff for as long as I can remember. You know, before I met my wife, you know, a lot of the stuff that we wanted to do or that I wanted to do, I, it just didn't get done. And I mean important stuff like laundry and showers and paying bills. I would just sit around in that old shitty apartment and wait to die and just watch allegedly pirated television shows and movies and allegedly pirated video games and just wait for the world to pass and just wait. I was not putting any effort into anything. I wasn't trying to do anything. I wasn't enjoying the world around me. I didn't give a shit. And then once I met my wife, I did give a shit, but it was just impossible to do because of this broken down garbage body that I created for myself. Um, and now that we're finally at that point, you know, there's a certain amount of me that's anxious about my wife being out of town. There's a certain amount of me uh, just terrified, just terrified. What if something goes wrong? And don't get me wrong, I have a support structure. Uh, I have plenty of friends who are local who are definitely more than glad to help, and they will. I have a roommate that I've lived with for the last 20-some years that's always really odd to people, but he's my best friend. It's like my brother, you know, and uh, he's definitely going to be here to help too. And, of course, my wife is just a phone call away. Uh, so, so don't, you know, uh, don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to be okay. I will definitely be okay. I'm not getting thrown to the wolves here, but it is nice to know that instead of being terrified and me, instead of being scared, what happens? What happens if I fall? What happens if my phone stops working? What happens if I have a heart attack? What happens? What happens? What happens? What happens? What happens? I can finally set a lot of that anxiety aside and just enjoy the time for what it is. And you know, I'll miss my wife, obviously. 
Uh, you know, I'll talk to her a couple times a day, surely, but I'll miss her <laughs> tremendously yeah, the way you do somebody that you love. But I'm, I'm still excited about playing D&D with my friends, and I'm excited about uh, going back to Friday Night Magic, and I'm excited about, um, you know, watching bad TV shows and playing bad video games and getting through this huge backlog of games I've generated over the past couple of years and get to play all of this season's games and actually be able to have a much more broad experience for uh, my top 10 list for games and stuff like that. Uh, so, so the short answer is uh, the reason I've just been not working as hard as I wish is obviously I'm pre- prepping for that time. You'll see way more of me over those couple of weeks. I think uh, I'll probably stream every night for quite much longer than I normally do. And I'll probably be making a ton more videos because it's that time of year. You want to make as many videos as you can in November, December. Anyway, I know a lot of you're going to be disappointed. Where's the Francis sketches? Where's the Francis stuff? Where are you? The break? It gets demonetized anyway. So it's like uploading nothing except it cost me money to produce it and time. So not probably not a lot of those regardless, uh, but there'll probably be a few around Christmas as usual. We, I still like the Christmas stuff. Um, and I, I probably some of you are thinking about, well, Buggy, what about Thanksgiving? Did you forget? I just had gastric bypass surgery. What am I going to eat? What am I going to do? Lick the turkey and eat one spoonful of potatoes. Thanksgiving isn't a holiday. I give a shit about it anymore. Black Friday, on the other hand, I'm going to buy some stuff. I'm going to buy some D&D minis. That's a holiday I can get behind now. Now that I'm saving so much money on my food bill. Food bill. Actually, I guess it didn't go down that much because of the food I'm eating. is still fairly expensive. Whole foods. We eat a lot of whole foods and fresh fresh market. I, I, I yeah. Well, DDP once said to me, either uh, buy a higher quality food uh, and pay for it now, or you can spend that money on your funeral bill, Boogie, your call. So we, we spend money on a higher quality food, though I feel bad about it. Uh, especially because I have to throw so much of it away because I can't eat anything anymore. What a good problem to have. What a good problem to have. So that said, don't worry. It's not the depression, um, it's, which is always there. I mean, the depression, chronic depression never really goes away. Um, and it's not the anxiety. The anxiety is better than it's been in a really long time. It's whatever the opposite of anxiety it is. I'm excited to go out into the world. I'm excited to do stuff. I'm excited to share the world with my wife and my friends and my family and my dog and hopefully sooner rather than later, I'll share it with you guys. I want to do a lot more cons. I want to do a lot more stuff. I want to have a big blast. Uh, fingers crossed. That said, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. I'll speak with you again soon. Hopefully we'll get a, a gaming video out for Saturday. I, th- I don't think I'll get it done in time for Friday, but maybe I'll work on it Friday night. Get it ready for you guys on Saturday. We'll see. <laughs> or maybe I'll just go to the movies and be like a person for a change. It's one of the luxuries of this job, being your own boss. It's not like I'm going to fire myself. Hopefully you won't fire me. (laughs) See ya.